Let's look at some of the new MIDI key editor functions found in Cubase 11. Double clicking on notes in previous versions would automatically launch the note expression editor and this would allow for independent note based MIDI controllers for particular instruments like the Howlian family, Pad Shop and Retrolog and other VST 3.5 instruments. If we wanted to change or toggle the behavior of that double clicking on a note, we could click on this icon here. And as we now double click on a note, the note will be deleted. If I wanted to undo that, we could also change the status via a key command under the note expression category, or just by going to note expression and we could enable open note expression editor. So with one tool, such as our select tool, I can now hold down my Alt or Option key to draw a note in. I could split that note with my Alt or Option key with the select tool. I could resize the note, I could double click, all without changing a single tool. We've also wanted to simplify the process of entering in and editing MIDI CC data. We could choose to enter into MIDI CC data in steps or ramps. So as I switch to my pencil tool, we can now just ramp up between different values like so. To change the curve between two points within a ramp, we could just adjust the center point and we could have our different Bezier curves. Copying MIDI CC data from one track to another track, let's say between two different string parts where maybe we have a high strings in orange and a low strings in green. So if I wanted to switch back and forth between the two parts and copy the CC data from my high strings to the low strings, I can right click here. I'll select all the events and I will copy. I will now switch to my low string part. And at this point I'll right click and we'll choose pasted origin. And now our MIDI CCs have been copied over exactly as in your first part. Editing between the 16,384 steps within the MIDI specification for pitch bend could be problematic to actually be exactly in tune. We can now have a pitch bend editor set up where we could see a semitone grid. We could have this default to two, uh, semitones up or down, but this will go up to 96 semitones and we could match this to the particular instrument. Now I could see that this line here is one semitone up. This line will be two semitones up. As I enter in my data, I could start my pitch bend. And if I wanted to go to one semitone up or one semitone down from the original, we could just enter that in. Now, sometimes as we return, we can notice that as we enter in our CC data, we can see exactly how flat or sharp it is based on the current pitch. But if I wanted it to snap directly to a semitone, we can click on this icon. And at this point, I could just click roughly near and it would automatically snap directly back to the semitone and we could adjust our bends that easily. A new scale assistant has also been incorporated into Cubase to make composing and writing in the key editor easier. We could actually use the editor scale. The scale can also be derived directly from the chord track. And Cubase can look at your part and actually give you different scale suggestions just by doing a quick analysis. If you're writing music that's more based on modes, we could also see a number of different modes that will be available directly here. And if we needed to actually create our own custom scale, so let's say if I wanted to do something for uh, the actual notes that are could be triggered from an actual harp, or if I wanted to set up a custom scale for like a Bartok half diminished scale, we could actually create our own custom scale as well. As we're doing editing, maybe I just want, I had a couple of notes that were off and out of key. At this point, I could select all of my parts and just say, let's quantize the pitches. And that will automatically move notes that were out of key directly to being in the key of the song. 
We could also do our snap pitch editing. So as I do edits, this will only snap to notes that are going to be within the defined scale. And there's also a snap live input. And this is a really handy feature. So let's say if I wanted to do a harp glissando and I've set up a custom scale, I could put this into like a step entry mode. And let's say I just wanted to put in a bunch of 16th notes. So at this point, I'm just gonna say snap our live input. And I will just, and that will automatically match all the notes directly to the scale. Looking at our different parts, sometimes we may have a wide range of pitches, low and high, directly on our MIDI part. So if I wanted to actually filter out what I'm seeing, what notes are available to view in the MIDI editor, we could click on this icon. And at this point, I could choose to say, let's show only the pitches that have events and don't show other notes. Or we could say, show only notes within this defined scale. Or if we want to see all notes visible, so if we have lots of accidentals in our piece, we could just kind of toggle those behaviors very easily. A very handy thing is, the inclusion of global tracks. So we have lots of people that will try to edit in the lower zone for all of our MIDI so that they could align with different global tracks like markers. But now we could include the global tracks directly within the MIDI key editor. At this point, we could say, I want to see my video track. So as we're composing, I want to see my chord track. And even if I wanted to edit the chords within a chord track, there's no restrictions. Let's say I want to see a ruler track so I could see Simpty time code and my bars and beats within the same window. If I want to see tempo track to just come here, speed up and slow down different parts within my tempo track, or I wanted to see my time signature, my transpose, my ranger track, and also marker. So if I want to see my song structure, or even if I've put in different markers for lyrics within my project, these are now all available directly within the MIDI key editor. If you wanted to see only particular ones, or if you wanted to hide all of them, one mouse click and everything will be right there. One mouse click, all of your global tracks that you've defined. You can see how powerful the new additions to the key editor can really speed up your workflow significantly.